Welcome back. On the last update, we were just starting off the milling uh, on the fuselage on the putty. And as you can see here, it's uh, doing the, uh, I guess, the right side of the fuselage here. If you flip it over and uh, just running down the side there. And this, uh, this particular pass now, when we're cutting the putty, we just do it sort of fairly closely together on each pass so we get a nice finish and not very, very faceted. So here it's running at about uh, 0.2 inches a pass that it's moving. So needless to say, uh, it's taken a little while to get the fuselage done. Um, this pass was started, I guess, at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and I came back at about uh, 8.30 and it was done and kicked off the other side. So that was basically doing a little bit more than a quarter of the main size of the fuselage. Here it is just about finished on that pass. It's down on the side now by the, by the flange, uh, just with a little bit more to go before it gets down to the flange. And then I had kicked it off again, like I said, about 8.30 uh, that evening, kicked it off on the other side. So it started in the middle and just worked its way up. So it's doing about um, between a half and two thirds of the fuselage. So the, all the rear side of the, or the rear end of the fuselage was done. So this is uh, doing the uh, indent um, or the recess for the main gear door cutouts. So it's just basically recessing that about three millimeters and ultimately that will be cut out and just have a little flange left over for the main doors. And on Friday, uh, Jeff was spraying the next set of um, plugs with the putty, uh, four coats on pretty much everything. So there you can see uh, in the foreground there was the uh, overhead console. And then here's, we moved the uh, fuselage back so it could work on the front uh, part of it. And here it's doing the pass on the front, uh, I guess that's going to be the right side again. And this is the finished uh, product there for the, after spraying the putty, that was the overhead console. This is the rear bulkhead that attaches to, uh, the pressure bulkhead that attaches to the keel. You can see it's all sprayed up nice and thick. We've done that before, but uh, didn't get enough putty on it. So we decided to do it again before milling it. This is the braces for the floor. That's one of the roof braces there. And there's plenty of putty on there and this is the forward bulkhead you can see the indent there that's for the the spar for the foreplane and then the cutout in the second center there that's where it mates up with the keel and then over here you had a, another one of the floor uh, roof braces and then the two uh, conduits so there's more work for me to mill next week so all that has to be go through the mill again for a finished cut and finally here, this is uh, this morning actually, um, came back in and because I was in late last night at 11 o'clock and finishing off the, the path uh, for the main part of the fuselage and then I started off just these last couple of runs here. And uh, this is the flange, just the last little front section of the flange running there. You see not much more to go now. And then finally here, we have it's just doing the last little part of the fuselage or at least the bottom part of the fuselage so that's a bit of a milestone now that we've got the fuselage done and that'll just get a light sanding now a little few little repairs and it's ready for uh, undercoat and paint and we'll be able to pull them all off of it so stay tuned